change of tack now and the summer music festival season has again been dominated by the likes of the Big Day Out, Laneway and Soundwave. But the tours haven't gone smoothly for some organisers. To tell us more, Tom Tilly from Triple J's Hack Program joins us now from Sydney. Good morning. The Heatwave Festival has been one casualty. That's right. It's a sad and kind of mysterious story, Karina. Two young Australian guys had big dreams of a festival that targeted hip-hop fans. It had low prices. It went to every state in Australia except Tasmania and the Northern Territory. But it's quickly started to unravel. They've actually gone insolvent. They owe people more than $400,000. Headline acts didn't turn up to some of the gigs. And they're now being investigated by the Office of Fair Trading in three states. So it's quite a debacle for fans who only found out about some of these changes, like the Perth show being cancelled, for example, an hour and a half before gates opened. So it was a real mess, actually. And uh, what else has happened, which is kind of strange, is that one of the co-promoters has actually disappeared 20 days ago and before even this touring festival was over. Olivier Lomboco was uh, actually seen getting $30,000 out of a bank in Sydney and then disappeared. Uh, they don't know where he is and I spoke to Patrick Winter yesterday on the show. He's the other promoter and he has no idea where he is and I asked him, you know, are you worried that he fled overseas or has taken off with the money? He said, no, I'm actually worried about his safety. He left more than $30,000 uh, worth of assets uh, around so I don't think it's for that reason so it's a very strange situation and it points to a couple of trends that we're seeing in music festivals around Australia one is young people trying to start off their own festivals and, and going quite badly I did a story two years ago about a story called the blueprint festival and it was a very similar situation but the other thing is a decline in demand for festivals a lot of the big festivals aren't selling out and uh, Laneway didn't sell out in Sydney over the weekend. We also had uh, Splendour in the Grass not selling out for the first time. And the Big Day Out had real trouble and had to pull Kanye West from a couple of its shows, Adelaide and Perth. Tom, we're running out of time, so I just want to move on to the next topic. And you've done some anecdotal research into young people and sex. What did you find? Well, we're talking about sex all next week on the show and I did five hours of straight interviews at the Laneway Festival on the weekend. And one interesting trend I found was a lot of young women were actually lying to their partners about how many previous sexual partners they've had. And here's one young woman I spoke to, Catherine, 22, who admitted to lying about how many sexual partners she'd had. I think that I'm always, like in the back of my mind, you never want to seem like promiscuous or anything like that because you do actually get judged for it as much as people say that it doesn't affect anything and like women's liberal feminism and all that means you can do whatever you want but you will I think people do judge you for it. So it's interesting, Karina, that despite the advances we feel like we've made in terms of gender equality that young women still feel this way. Tom, thanks very much for bringing that to us and I'm sure everyone will listen to Hack next week with interest. Catch you later.